I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Yahuda Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Mann, on the Early Order City Script Study and Prayer Line on this first day in January 2018. Um, happy calendar change because the new year is in the spring. Let's go to uh, First Samuel 15. And let's begin at the 22nd verse. Look what it says. It says, And Samuel said, Have Yahuwah as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of Yah. Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice and to hearken to the fat of the ram. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry, because thou hast rejected the word of Yah, he also rejected thee from being king. Um... <clears throat> Staying sober-minded in these last and evil days is challenging uh, because of basically the tools we use. If you ever, like, unintentionally give authority to something or someone shysty, then you got issues. Something slick, something deceitful and cunning. If you ever give authority to someone that's a thief, incredible spokesperson, got oratorical skills, but is a con man. You got a problem. See, what we're working with is a heart. And if you really want to just break that down, it's a, a state of mind, a state of being, a viewpoint. That is, first of all, is is uh, deceitful. It will trick you, and it and it's desperately wicked. That's what we're working with. When the truth of the word came, it was opposed to how you saw things, how you felt about things, how you view things. The word literally. Not um, hypothetically speaking, not um, like uh, an added ingredient. It was the whole subject. Was that the word was completely against anti you? But when it came, you admitted it and set you up for a relationship with the Most High, because you repented, turned from who you used to be. Now, staying sober-minded, if you've never done that, then I'd advise you to do it like yesterday. I'd advise you to pump your brakes and not grow into becoming a religious person, becoming a religious nicer person at least seemingly anyway, seemingly nicer. If you call it's all a facade. But if you've done what you should have done from the gate and started this race off, you know, I quit me from getting intimate with that thought. Me being how I see things, how I do things, how I view things. I surrender to the most high. I quit. I'm apologetic and now I'm ready to change. Because too many people have a relationship with him and it's switched. I'm saying those that started off right. It's switched to burnt offerings and sacrifices. 
is switched to a bunch of flattery, oratorical skills, religious cliches, carnal commandments, as opposed to bowing down to the Most High. We can get so caught up in burnt offerings, burnt offerings and sacrifices, you know, singing the songs of Zion and going through the routines and the rituals that we don't acknowledge the fact that the process has really stopped. We always going to respond a certain way, wrong. We always going to think a certain way, wrong. And we always going to do wrong. But we heavy on the burnt offerings and sacrifices. Samuel had a question to Saul. You want to tell me that you did not do what the Most High said, but yet you hollering, Praise Yahuwah. You want to get into the verbal celebration, religious celebration. Yahusha, the Messiah, said, why call me master? Why are you calling me Adonai? And do not the things I say. What is that all about? Samuel had a had a had a had a question. Had, had a question. Had yeah. Great delight in 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 your praises, in your rituals, in your sacrifices, in your money, in your celebrations. Has he has delight in that? Preferring that over obeying him. To obey, to obey is better. If you never say hallelujah, obedience is better. Too many people saying hallelujah, but they're not obeying him. They're not studying to show themselves approved. They might study the scripture for head knowledge, but studying themselves Examine themselves daily. Study yourself. Examine yourself daily to see whether you be in the faith. Know you not your own self, that, that Yahusha, the spirit of Yahusha, the spirit of the word is in you? At least you be reprobates. Examine yourself. Look at yourself. To obey. Do what he say. It's better. For rebellion is as the sin of which scribe. Let's really talk about this, y'all. Look at this. The word says, to him that knows knows to do good and doeth it not, to him it is sin. You know exactly what the Most High say do, and you acknowledge it too. And then you go directly against it. Another day at the office, like water off a duck's back, you know exactly what he said do, and you, you, and you, and it comes to your mind. Now, how Yah comes? Remember when um, uh, who was that? Uh, the 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 prophet that was hiding from um, Jezebel in the cave, and and uh, and the uh, the word of. Yah came in a still, small voice. It was. It wasn't. It wasn't the the hurricane, the thunder, the lightning. It was a, a, a still, small voice. We got to be paying attention and sensitive, attentive to Yah and 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 His voice. He can. He can just come and say, "Don't do that. That's not right." Show up, pray, call in, forgive, give.
And because it comes so soft and carnality is so loud, what we want to do is so loud in our head that we'll ignore what he tells us to do. We got to somehow start being more responsive to the still small voice of righteousness, to the still small whisper of the scripture that you've been meditating in and reading. Because you don't want to get to the point that Yah talks to you and it don't affect you. It don't change you. It don't it doesn't alter your attitude. It doesn't alter your position. It doesn't alter your behavior. You don't want to be that person. You never want to become the person whose conscience has been seared with a hot iron. God deals with us via our conscience, and he's greater than our conscience, which gives him the authority to talk to us in our conscience. That's not right. Don't say that. Don't do that. Do what you're supposed to do. You don't want to have a life of, uh, you know, a routine of uh, disobeying him. Routine. In the bed with somebody you should be in the bed with. with. Routinely putting stuff in your body that uh, you should be putting in your body routinely. Because the word says rebellion is as of the sin of witchcraft. Witchcraft is like casting spells, the releasing of spirits that is in contrast, goes contrary to Yah. Witchcraft, you know, um, concocting spiritual um, positions, spiritual, um, uh, I'll stay there, positions that are from the devil. You see a, a witch with her black pot putting stuff in there and, and praying and saying stuff, chanting stuff. And hocus pocus and you know putting concocting, putting it together. Did you know uh, stubbornness is the same? Rebellion is witchcraft to 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 concoct something that goes against the word. To 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 ritually live a life that goes against the word is witchcraft. It, it is it is putting a, a spirit out there that is absolutely evil. I'm going to do it my way. Rebellion. I know what he said, but, but I'm going to do it my way. Now, that will render us up under the influence of there's a way to seem right unto a man. I told you that, that our, our start is, is cold. You know that that heart of man is 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 deceitful. There's a way to seem right onto a man, but the end, the consequences, the end of it is that it seems right. And if you're given over to it, it's being given over to witchcraft because now you walk in rebellion. And when your conscience has been seared with hot iron, it doesn't feel like rebellion. Rebellion in our head is more like I am revolting against, and I have to press to do it. But when your conscience is sealed without iron, there is no opposition. So it's smooth. You can easily, routinely get up and do it. You can routinely talk like that. You can routinely do those deeds. Maybe it was a time that it was a a, a, a a resistance which you were aware of the rebellion. But when you get into a routine and you locked in, it becomes easier. When you say it, it becomes easier and easier to do because your conscience is being seared, killed. Now you can just do it routinely. Tell a lie routinely, easy. Roll off your tongue. And right after that, you holler, Hallelujah. Be rude and mean, not a problem. Act a fool, not a problem. 
fired up, lighted, and inhale. Not a problem. For rebellion, most high say don't do it. For rebellion, but you're going to do it anyway. For rebellion, and it don't even feel bad. All rebellion don't feel bad anymore. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, casting a spell. You're under a spell, and you're casting it. You're contagious to those that are around you. That's why it was say, note those folk that's called a brother or sister that walk uh, contrary, because that stuff is contagious. For rebellion, as of the sin of witchcraft and stubbornness, is is idolatry, being stubborn. We got to somehow admit to ourselves that living this life is in contrast to our flesh, how we want to do things, how we view things. It's the opposite. And the word teaches that he that has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. We got to get to the point that we're willing to walk in a humility that enables us to override how we feel and do what he say do. Override how we feel and not mask it. When your conscience is seared with hot iron, mentally you know you're doing wrong. But you can mask it easily when there's no opposition in your soul against your wrongdoing. And you're able to cover it over with 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 burnt offerings and sacrifice. It comes easy to override it with burnt offerings and sacrifice, with praise reports verbal, with 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 singing verbal. Drawing now to him with your mouth. Oh, come on, y'all. We're getting ready to get up out of here. That's why the word is coming like this, because it's getting real. We got to comb through our lives with a fine-tooth comb, being honest with ourselves. He's coming back for ecclesia without spot, wrinkle, or blemish or any such thing. And sometimes we don't even see ourselves capable. The devil is a lie. Satan is a lie. <laughs> we're more than capable because greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world because ain't nothing in the world but the lust of the eye the lust of the flesh and the pride of life and in the lust of the eye the lust of the flesh and the pride of life is that spirit that believes uh, everything is okay there's a way to seem right onto it but it's killing you the end thereof is the ways of death that's why we cannot get caught up in burnt offerings <laughs> and sacrifices. And we got to put a uh, priority, uh, put our priority straight. Obedience is better <laughs> than sacrifice. And to hearken, you know, as you go, hark, who goes there? <laughs> Uh, to hearken means to respond, uh, respond cheerfully, ready to do, ready to go. Hark, uh, who goes there? To hearken, then the fat of the rams. Want to get animal sacrifices and burn the fat as a as a praise offering on to the to the Most High. He said, "Keep it. Put your put your lighter down. Keep it." Because obedience is way better. If we turn our relationship with the Most High into obedience and let the praise come later, to obedience. Yehuda, uh, uh, also known as Judah, is the, the praise tribe. And they were shipped into, shipped into slavery. That will tell you something. That should tell you that uh, have Yah <laughs> a great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices, as in obeying the voice of Yah. Behold, it's, it is it is better to it is better to uh, uh, to obey than sacrifice, and to hearken than the fat of the rams. 
nobody out singing uh, Yehuda. Uh, huh. Ain't nobody out singing uh, Israel, uh, uh, Yehuda. <laughs> Yehuda and Benjamin and Zion. And they were shipped into slavery because of their disobedience. If my people were to call by my name will humble themselves, humility will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. The wicked ways is not doing what he say. Want to want, want to have a relationship with him that's that's concert driven, that's flattery driven. Did you know he came to rescue us? not to be flattered by us. It is flattering when whom he rescued have an attitude of gratitude. Oh. It'll change their latitude. He'll exalt them. But the key is those that he rescued. He came to rescue. He came to get the believer. He came to get those that operate in faith, those that obey him. And it's a sweet aroma uh, to his nostrils. To, to, it's a sweet aroma, the praises of his people. If my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked way. And then I hear, and that hear. I hear their land, I forget, I, I forget their sins, and I hear their land. And, and their praise is a, a, a sweet aroma to me. We got to somehow get out of rebellion. If rebellion is attacking you, if you got a routine that goes against the most high, understand that that's witchcraft. It wasn't the witches on Halloween, the black capes and the long black hats with the crooked teeth and the green nose with the, with the lump on it, like they snorted a marble. Run around here with old school broom. No, witchcraft is, I'm going to do it my way. I know what he said do, but I ain't doing it. I know he don't want me to say it. I know he don't want me to go there. I don't know. He, I know he called me from hanging with them, but I'm going to hang with him anyway. I'm going to do what I want to do anyway. And then it just seem right to you. There's a way to seem right to a man. You don't want to get to the part, uh, to the point that right seems uh, uh, wrong to you and wrong seems right. Becoming religious, you have a reason to hang with him with ill regards of what Yah said. Search the scriptures for him. You think you have eternal life. You ought to, it come, come a time where you should know the will of Yah. You should be growing in, in unmerited favor daily, no, learning the word, knowing what, what, what the do's and the don'ts, what you should be doing. And don't let your carnal mind drown it out and get you in trouble. If you let, if you let the wicked rule, you let your nature rule your life, you got a problem. You can't let your you can't let your 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 your, your nature run your life. That joker had you in church, hopping around and and, and and joining a big old scandalous concert. Room full of room full of folks cackling and hopping around and slobbing and and barking and going out and and fornicating, committing adultery, lying, cheating, fighting, clubbing, rubbing, thugging, mugging, dr- drugging. Until I see you next Sunday. For rebellion. Get your breaks for rebellion. It's as the sin of witchcraft. We got to obey him. We got to be the type of uh, 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 folk that look at it like, Map your day out today. Is he going to obey? The only sin that has taken you, please believe, is common to man. But it ain't your fault. He will not suffer you to be tempted above that which you're able. But with the temptation, make a way of escape that you might be able to bear it. There is no stronghold that got you that the word can't free you from. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Same as uh, the, uh, the the anointing shall destroy the yoke, 
That's the same scripture saying the same thing. It's the anointing. What is the anointing? The Ruah. What is the Ruah? The word. What is the word? Yeah. If you obey him, he'll destroy the yokes in your life and give you the power not to pick it back up again. We get stuck to where we don't want to give it up. It hurts. It causes a discomfort. Our flesh craves certain things. We got to check our flesh. So I don't care what you're craving. I'm, you, ain't, you ain't about to ruin my life. You ain't going to kill me. To be carnally minded is death. You ain't killing me, carnality. When I would do good, you're present. But I'm going to keep you in check. Word told me to mortify, which means to kill you. Not going to destroy me. I mean, you run around here a witch or a warlock. Walk around the spirit of rebellion. Folks think that rebellion is acting a rebellious fool, loud and clamoring. No, 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 no. That's a form of rebellion without question. To revolt, to go against this rebellion. Blasphemy. It's the same thing as rebellion, blasphemy. To blaspheme means to go against, like the religious folks did to to the Messiah, went against, went against his ministry. And when we do what we want to do, we're going against his ministry. He told us not to forsake. We'll forsake if we feel like it. Do what the heck I want to do, you know. (laughs) Rebellion, witchcraft, focus, focus, potions. Stubborn. Come here. Do you hear me? Come here. Boy, if you don't come here, you just going to stand there. I said, come here. You just walking away now? Stubbornness. Don't do it. Don't put that down. Put that. You ain't going to put it down? Don't have me get up. Stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. Sin is iniquity. <laughs> idolatry is cheating on Yah. Yah told Adam and Eve what not to do. Eve listened to the snake. Cheated on Yah. Adam walked up. Rocked with his wife. Idolatry. He concluded, he said, Saud, Yah told me to tell you, because thou has rejected the word of Yah, you want to have a form of Yah that is denying the power? He said, because thou has rejected the word of Yah, you like being religious? Stubbornness to position you to the point that you like being religious and you ain't going to listen? Because thou, because. Because the result, there's a result. There's an action and a reaction. Because thou has rejected the word of Yah. You like religion, like learning, seeking after knowledge, but you ain't going to do it. Because thou has rejected the word of Yah. Guess what? He has also rejected thee from being King, folks like to false accuse him when it comes to Pharaoh. Pharaoh rejected the most high. Not vice versa. It was Pharaoh that rejected the most high. And then the most high said, okay, now you're rejected. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Please continue to praise him and lift him up. Please continue to give. Please continue to assemble. Please. Because whatever you do, obey. I don't care if you never praise him again. Please continue to praise him. I don't care if you never praise him again. You better be obeying him now. P.S. If you obey him, you're praising. But some folks' whole relationship with him is a big old concert as opposed to obeying him, and that's not us. 
we decree it in the matchless name of Yahushua. Spirit of the living Yah, we love you and thank you for a sobering word, getting us ready for that great day uh, where we're going to have to depend on you supernaturally. Um, you protected uh, your children in Egypt when you was hitting them with plagues. And uh, the plagues is about to start hitting. Uh, Dispatch are in your protection about the children, children keeping us safe in these last and evil days. And we be careful to give you the praise and the honor, not only now, but forevermore. In the matchless name of Yahushua HaMashiach, we humbly pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And all may.